my Sharon here, Facebook friends, there is a little unknown word that or gesture that or noise that you can make to your pets. It isn't always about getting them to obey every single yes, no, come, sit. Sometimes there's little words that we can use to get them to do what we want it to do without much effort. So Helen happens to like this toy. This is called Wubby, right? We like a Wubby toy? We're going to get up, Helen. Come on. Okay, so Helen loves this Wubby so much that if I stuck Wubby over here, what would you do? What would you do? You would take it. Oh, okay. So let's say that was a snack, or let's say that was a steak, or let's say she wasn't supposed to get that. A lot of people don't know there's another thing you can get. Hi there. I just wanted to, to point out the reason that I'm choosing eh instead of no, stop, don't do that. Because dogs understand one word at a time generally. So it's easier to use a word they understand, like eh. Um, I don't want the dogs to get confused because if you're saying no all the time, no, don't do this, no, don't do that, no, 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 they get really confused. So the best thing to do is use the word eh, and it's more like a, a sound to them. So we're going to try to see if we can get uh, Miss Helen here to do the unthinkable. Come on. Okay. Hi, back here again, and I just wanted to show you that this is just an ordinary piece of bread, and we're going to stick it over here. Helen. That's the power of it. Eh is a really powerful tool. You don't have to be, you know, uh, using no, don't do this. The word eh is so powerful. Use it, okay, Facebook people? And that's a retraining lesson from Nanny Sharon.